how we need to respond. Uh, just one quick question um, in the authorizing bill. Last year, we had authorized a re uh, report um, to study the personnel challenges within the Special Operations Command. Um, they bring together folks from all the different services. Admiral Olson does not have that much control, um, or I think any control, uh, in terms of pay and the various different decisions that are made in terms of managing the personnel are primarily handled on the service level. He has unique challenges because they're all there together. I think he refers to it as the foxhole problem. Um, if you've got a Navy SEAL and an Army Green Beret in the same foxhole talking about their lives um, and understanding that they're paid different, that they have different you know, um, benefits and different structures, uh, it becomes a problem. So the point of this study was to bring the services, SOCOM together, talk about it, figure out where we're going forward. It's been done. It's in your office, is my understanding. No one's really said anything about it in terms of how you intend to act on it. Um, I'd like to urge that action and be curious of any comments you have about what you plan to do. Uh, that's the first I've heard of it. When I get back, I'll ask for okay. it. <laughs> All right. Well, then, then I have served a purpose here this morning, I guess. Thank you very much, Mr. Okay. Chairman. I yield back. Mr. Turner. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. I appreciate you being here. Um, I am the ranking member of the Strategic Forces Subcommittee, and so I have a number of